Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving equations with fractions using fraction busters. And this is the first part. In this part, we are going to do away with LCD in simplifying the expression or the equation that we have right here. By definition, fraction busting is a method of simplifying equations involving fractions that uses the multiplicative property of equality to rearrange the equations so that no fractions remain. So what we're trying to say is that we need to get rid of this fraction right here so that we are able to solve this equation without all of these fractions. We have some steps to follow in order that we can solve problems involving fractions using fraction busters. The first step is to determine the multiplier. By definition, the multiplier that we're referring to is the product of all the denominators. So in this case right here, I'm just going to show the uh, multiplier on the side right here. So we're going to label it again by definition. The multiplier that we are referring to here is the product of all the denominators. So the denominators that we have here would be 2. So I'm going to write 2 and then multiply that by 5. So those are the denominators. And then 2 times 5 is 10. After we've determined the multiplier, we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to multiply the multiplier, the one that we got here to both sides of the equation and solve. So in this case right here, I'm going to multiply the left side of the equation by 10, and then I'm going to multiply the right side of the equation by 10. So when we multiply, we're supposed to distribute this multiplier to each of the terms. So the 10 will be distributed to the first as well as to the second. So once we distribute this, we have 10 times x is 10x, and that is over 2. Plus, we have 10 times x is another 10x, and that is over 5, and that is equal to 7 times 10 is 70. So then we are going to simplify this so that we can solve for x. So 10x divided by 2 is 5x, and then we have 10x divided by 5 is 2x, and that is equal to 70. So then from here, we combine like terms. So 5x plus 2x is 7x, and that is equal to 70. So then we go ahead and say that we wanted x by itself here. So then we, since we say this is multiplication here, so then we are going to divide both sides by 7, divide this by 7. So that if we have 7 divided by 7 is 1, so we're left with just x, and that is equal to 70 divided by 7 is 10. So the value of x in this original equation that we have up there is 10. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to determine the multiplier. Again, by definition, the multiplier is the product of all the denominators. So our multiplier for this would be these two denominators here. So I'm just going to write that um, on the side right here. So this is the multiplier. So again, that would be 3. And then I'm going to multiply that by the other uh, denominator, which is 15. So we got 3 times 15 is 45. So this will be the multiplier that we are going to use in order that we can solve this equation. So pretty much we are going to multiply both sides, both the left and the right side with the multiplier, which is 45. So I'm going to write 45 right here, and then I multiply this by 45 so that we can go ahead and distribute the 45 to each of the terms inside the uh, parentheses. The same thing with that as well. So then we are able to um, get the value. We have 45 times x is 45x over 3 minus 45 times x is 45x over 15, and that is equal to 4 times 45 is 180. So then we're going to divide this. 45x divided by 3 is 15x minus 45x divided by um, 15 is 3x, and that is equal to 180. So then 15x minus 3x is 12x, and that is equal to 180. We want to solve for 
um, x by itself here. So we're going to divide both sides by 12, divide this by 12. So then we are left with x is equal to 15 because we have 180 divided by 12 is 15. So this is the value of x that will make this equation true. Did you get the same answer as this? x is equal to 15? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. So we are supposed to solve for x. So we're going to go over the first example here. So again, we have steps to follow in order that we can solve um, problems involving fraction using the fraction buster. So the first step is to determine the multiplier. Again, the multiplier is the product of all the denominators. So I'm just going to show the work for the multiplier here. So there are two um, denominators that we have for this equation. We got a 2 and at the same time we got um, 3. This one has a denominator of 1 but we don't have to um, multiply that with this 2 and 3 here. So then we can go ahead and say that the multiplier for this is 6. So we're now ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to multiply the multiplier to both sides of the equation and solve. So then we go ahead and multiply this 6 to both sides of the equation. So I multiply this by 6 and then I multiply this by 6 here. So that we are going to distribute this 6 to both terms. So that's for the first term and that's the second term right there. So and then the 6 here shall also be distributed to that. So that we are left with 6 times x is 6x over 2 minus 6 times 5 is 30. And that is equal to 6 times x is 6x and that is over 3. So that we can go ahead and um, simplify this. 6x divided by 2 is 3x and then that's minus 30 is equal to 6x divided by 3 is 2x. So that we want to have x by itself on one side so that we can go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides minus 2x so that we can cross the 2x out. We are left with 3x minus 2x is 1x or you can just write x in there that's minus 30 is equal to 0. So that we want x by itself so that we can go ahead and add 30 to both sides so that's plus 30 and then plus 30 so that we can get rid of the 30 on the left side of the equation. So we can cross this out. So we're left with just x on the left side and that is equal to 30. So the value of x that will make this equation true is 30. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to determine the multiplier. Again, by definition, the multiplier is referred to as the product of all the denominators. So I'm just going to write the multiplier on the side here. So this is our multiplier. After that, we're ready to move on to the second step. The second step is to multiply the multiplier to both sides of the equation and solve. So we're going to multiply this by the multiplier, which is 10. So the value of x that will make this equation true is 50. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.